Hi, I'm Shelly Levette with ChildCareLand.com and today I want to share with you a marshmallow painted snowman. This is a fun project for the children to do. You don't really need anything besides paint, construction paper, and marshmallows. Um, we use marshmallows occasionally as a different kind of a medium tool for our art center and um, I thought with the snowman and um, having snow that the marshmallows would, great, would work great for making a snowman. The children really enjoyed it. Uh, you just need uh, to have like the uh, maybe the s'more size. I don't know if that's what we use for s'mores or these a little bit bigger than the kind that you put in hot cocoa marshmallows. And you can just use the generic brand to save a little money. They work just as well as the, the name brands for that. And you need to have white paint. And you can choose what color base of construction paper you want. In this case, um, black was used, but you could use blue, whatever you would like to do. And you don't have to have it looking, you know, the same. Children are certainly free to decorate their snowman the way that they want on there. But this one was done this way, so I would just use that one as an example. But um, every child is unique and will want to make their snowman their own way. Okay, so you would start with just a blank piece of construction paper, and then I have some white paint on here. And it's up to you if you want to use them in painting trays or how you'd want to set that up. And then a marshmallow. And we, we discussed mar the marshmallow rules before we start painting with them, that we cannot eat these because they have paint on them. And occasionally, sometimes after we've done uh, painting with them, I do have some fresh ones that are set out uh, if they choose to take one and eat them after they're done with their project, they can certainly do that. But that's up to you and how your classroom rules work for, for you and your early learning environment. But I was again stressed that these cannot be eaten. And of course, with children uh, three and under, you want to use some close supervision to make sure that they're not doing that or licking the marshmallows. But otherwise, it's a great project to do. So you take the marshmallow. And everyone's mar snowman is going to be different. If you want to outline circles on here, Maybe to make it easier for smaller children to have a guide as to where to put the um, marshmallow paint, then you can do it that way too. But um, you don't have to do that. And children can just uh, freehand and design their own snowman with their marshmallow paint. And they would just dab it in and move it around like that. It's kind of a little bit like sponge painting. And they could design that the way they want. We talk about um, sometimes you can make snowman with three different sections of the body. The largest one on the bottom, the medium one in the middle, and the smallest one for the head would be on top. So um, they kind of can use that as a guide as well too for that on here. And let's go all around. And you can see it's beginning to take a snowman shape. And then um, some children will leave it like that. Some will want to fill it all in. Every child is different in how they want, like to do their art. So but I'm doing the quick version here because of the time for the video. But you can kind of see that's kind of the out, an outline of a snowman on here. And, um, if you want, you can let that dry and then decorate it. You can use sequins. I have uh, done pieces of construction paper that have already been cut out, the small intricate pieces like mittens. Um, you could glue those on if you wanted to. I'll just put those there for an example. On here, they could do it that way for the hat, for the snowman. Uh, small triangle, orange triangle for the nose. And you know, you could use sequins too for buttons. All different kinds of things that you could do. We did circle eyes. Well, it's gonna have two eyes in one spot there. But you know, certainly the children um, pick out what they want and decorate, the, decorate their snowman the way that they would like to. For a marshmallow painted snowman, I'm Shelly Levette with childcareland.com, and thanks for watching.